a growing crisis in the Vallejo Police Department. Against all odds, right? I mean, they're absolutely against all odds. And, and for that, I am deeply concerned. On Tuesday, the Vallejo City Council will vote on whether to declare a state of emergency over VPD staffing numbers. For years, the number of people in the department has been falling. Police data from March showing the department was down to 67 full-duty sworn officers, 36 of whom were on patrol. Interim Police Chief Jason Ta laying out the dire statistics to City Council. It is worse than, and I'm quoting the consultant that we use, worse than anything that they've ever experienced. VPD has been under scrutiny for years and is currently under supervision by the Department of Justice. Back in 2020, it received heavy criticism for the death of Sean Monterosa. Vallejo City Council member Christina Ariola says VPD has a problem with both retaining and recruiting officers. They're probably going to think, you know what, I can probably get a better job in Phoenix or I can probably, you know, get, be able to move on up. We can't do that here, and there are so many obstacles. In order to fix the problem, Ariola says the council is considering a variety of different solutions, one of them being the possibility of offering financial incentives. You master X amount of years here with us, you're, 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 you're good to go. If approved, the emergency declaration would allow the city manager to provide more resources to VPD. However, Ariola says she wants more details at Tuesday's meeting before signing off. I'm really concerned about this, this blank emergency declaration. What does that mean? In Vallejo, Tim Johns, ABC7 News.